Hello YouTube, HPZ are here today and uh, it's a little bit of a sad day. Uh, days like these are never easy on any collector out there but I have to do it. Basically, this is, I'm not going to say why, um, but this is a video on all of the things I've got spare and extra that I need to either trade or sell. Um, I'm going to try and do trades for most of these just because I prefer trading my things instead of selling them it makes it feel not so bad but sale all might actually be the only option and all of these things have been tested and they're all working and I will clean them before sell selling them to you and uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my other stuff I've seen people but it'll look mint or very very clean by the time you get it that much I can promise you so what I'm going to be doing is there's a lot to run through I, I don't know if I'll even be able to fit everything into 25 minutes but I'm going to start at one side and just carry on start with the new stuff and end with the older stuff in some sort of form or order and uh, to start off with uh, I've got this PlayStation 3 Slimline Okay, some of you might have seen me or heard me talking about it. Uh, there was a sale for it, it fell through. What you're going to get with it is the PlayStation 3 console. Okay, one 6 axis controller, one USB cable, video cable, AV cable. Um, the drive will be wiped before I send it to you. I can tell you that this machine is one of the versions that if you do have a hardware downgrader you can downgrade it to 3.55 and install custom firmware on it. Um, I might be able to do that for you, I can't make any guarantees. So moving right, right along, please let me know, I'm not giving you any prices on anything so be reasonable when you message me with prices. The next thing I've got is an Xbox 360. Okay, as you can see there, this is exactly how you'll get it. It's hardly been played. I think this was switched on for like an hour at most. If you check the back of the console, you'll see it's a 2007 version. I can promise you both my Xboxes that I'm selling, none of them ever gave free red lights. None of them had X clamp mods or anything of the sort. And before selling it to you, I will run it for an entire evening. Now, basically, this machine has been RGH recently sacked, which means you can play games from all regions, you can play backups, you can insert a USB hard drive and play games from there, you can insert any size hard drive in the, in the bay, uh, the SATA bay, uh, on top of the console. There's no restrictions on it, it's the absolute best that you can do to a console uh, or Xbox's recently jacket. The only thing is when you switch it on, you need to wait between 15 and 30 seconds longer than normal for the machine to boot. This one does boot quite quick. It will normally boot on the second flash of the power LED, so about 15 seconds. This is only for the consoles. There isn't a power supply for these at all because I just don't have any spare. Um, you will get a box as well. It's not the same box the machine originated from. Uh, but it does have the manual and it is the right size box for the right size machine. I've got another Xbox 360 that I'm also brought up for trade. Okay, this machine as well, like I said, I can guarantee you that it's never been fixed for free red lights. Um, it is a 2006 machine, but frankly this machine hasn't given me any hassle whatsoever. The drive in here I think is chipped if I recall correctly, so you can play copy games using Commodore Forever Loader. Then you're probably not going to offer me anything for it, but I do have two Wii consoles, uh, both fully working, both tested. We'll get like all of the consoles a good clean before I send them to you. And uh, there's nothing wrong with these, they work perfectly, it's a Wii console, moving right along. GameCube. It's 
fully working. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that I actually flashed. The, yeah, this is the one I flashed the DVD drive. It has been modded as well to support the USB flash drive. Oh, no, no, to support SD cards. Let's see if that's the one. Here we go. You can plug your SD card in there and you can play games from SD card using the included disc that's included in the system. What you'll get with that is the machine power supply, probably a controller, I'm not percent sure I can find you a controller and an IV cable. If you don't want it chipped or modded, please let me know, that's also fine, I can remove all the hardware mods inside this machine. Next, this is fairly dirty because it has been sitting in my loft, but it needs a good clean, I will clean it like all of the consoles before I send it to you. It's a PlayStation 1 with an LCD screen. Okay, it's all inclusive. Um, you but run the, the LCD screen from the original power supply. Nothing wrong with it, it has been chipped as well. You will get two controllers, they're both generic. Power supply for it and AV leads as well. And you can see there's all of the settings. The nice thing is this screen supports input as well. So you can plug it in there. Do you will note that with these screens, uh, what's very important is if you have an original Sony screen, you'll note that the actual video mode for it will only support PAL. It's not multi mode. These screens are multi mode. You can swap the modes if you open it up and you switch that switch over. You can change the mode for the screen. So you'll get a PlayStation, the power cable, the screen, two controllers, and maybe a memory card if I can find one. Or depends on what you offer me for it, to be honest. Then I've actually got that exact same screen you saw a minute ago. I've got a spare one of those, but it doesn't have a console to match it. They are third party screens, and that's also for sale or trade. But yeah, <laughs> and uh, let's see, moving right along, I have a whole bunch of handles that needs to go as well. First one up, PSP 3000 includes an 8 gigabyte memory card loaded with games. The machine has been chipped, charger, everything includes a spare case, includes the unit itself. Battery still lasts like the day I got it. It doesn't have any major memory or anything. And like I said before, it is chipped and ready for you. This is still by far better than the E1000 series. And like I said before, everything that's here you will be formatted before I send it to you. There will be no data or copy games on the system at all. Next, Nintendo DS Lite, all of these do work, okay most of them will be charged by the time you get them, I can probably give you a flash card as well for one of these, I do have a spare flash card that I can send, it does have the stylus in there and everything you need, it has some minor damage, but very very little, it's, this is almost mint. Then, Game Boy Advance SP, you'll get it in this bag, includes a charger, I think that charger still works, headphones, link cable at the bottom there, no it's not the link cable, that is a light for illuminating a system that has a backlight, no idea what you're going to do with the light system itself. Like with all of these, uh, some scratches on top, but most of that feels like sticky stuff. You'll probably clean it off. Works perfectly. It's not the backlit version. Sorry, it's frontlit. And that's all of the consoles I've got for sale, trade, or whatever you want to do. Games. 
That's the next one. Once again, I'm going to start off with newer, getting older. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for DS. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for Xbox 360. It's an NTSC copy. This is like brand new. War Gods sealed for Nintendo 64. This is worth something. Sun Rush Extreme Racing, San Francisco Rush. This one looks like it's also yeah, it's also sealed. Then I've got some PC games that I have to go fetch. Plots. First up is Zork Nemesis. I will remove the label if you do purchase it without damaging the case or anything else. If you haven't played this game yet, it's an amazing point to click adventure. Crusader No Remorse. Cover is a bit bad, but the disc inside is perfectly fine. And Baldur's Gate 2. It includes all of the discs. These are quite rare and quite valuable, Baldur's Gate. And that's uh, everything that I've got for sale and trade. Sadly, it has to go. Please don't that, that, that lowball me. I've, I've been in the industry for long enough to know what a lowball offer is and what the going rates are. At the same time, I'm reasonable. I won't charge you the same as bid or buy or country or those sort of prices that's available. That's simply insane on some of the things. I won't do that to you. But uh, I'm looking for reasonable offers. Uh, to trade with any systems that I don't already own or any systems that's quite nice or I might be able to sell uh, no, I probably won't sell that it's my one weakness <laughs> when it comes to all the systems I don't sell them you probably notice due to the quantity there that uh, most of my machines are mine forever <laughs> so sorry about running around and that uh, little bit of a what can I say, that little bit of a sign of peace in the centre when I had to go fetch the other games, but uh, yeah, I think it's me a bit rifled up. Anyway, uh, let me know if there's anything in this that, that you would like for yourselves, um, anything in particular. By the way, those are the boxes for the two Xboxes. So that's more, all from me, HBZ, until I see you again soon.